Hey everyone, Mike today with some thoughts here on Power Wash Simulator. This is a pretty simple game. It is kind of fun and satisfying. I think some people will find more joy out of playing this relaxing game than others. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, career mode. I might do one of the special levels afterwards. I've done the first two levels. I quickly hopped into the next one and I've got two more available to me. As you progress through some levels and get more and more completion, other ones just seem to unlock, you know, out of nowhere. So, yeah, it's a pretty straightforward game. You can buy some upgrades and stuff, which we'll take a look at in a bit. But uh, let's hop into this level. So I've not done anything here just yet. So everything is pretty dirty. Uh, we can hit the tab, tab key. Yes, we don't get any uh, any identifications just yet. Uh, but anyways, yeah, you can see this place is filthy, and you're gonna have to power wash it all. So in the top left corner, you can kind of see some different materials depending what we're looking at, and the reason for that is you can use uh, different soaps, different things to kind of help speed it up, but ultimately. You don't really need any of that. So we can go about it a couple different ways. I can just hit right click or click on right click and then we've got our power washer going. And then I can hit the R key to switch it around. And then we could do you know a bunch of jiggling around like that, which could get a little upsetting to some people. But you can also go into a different aiming mode. So the screen isn't moving around as much, and when you hit the edges, you know, it'll move around for Yeah, if you're going to be streaming this game or playing it casually and you got to power wash a bunch of stuff, this might be the best way to go about it. Uh, so anyways, yeah, so as you can see, we've got a little bit of cleaning happening here. Uh, if I do a quick swipe, this is not too bad. Let's uh, go ahead and change the nozzles. So I could hold number two key here and choose different nozzles, or I could just scroll them, scroll through them with the scroll wheel. Uh, if I do a quick pass here, you'll see some of the thicker stuff doesn't come off. Now you can blast it for a while, and in some cases, some of the different contaminations will come off in other cases like see i can i go too fast i don't clean them but i can go really fast with the smaller nozzle so there's definitely an idea of potentially choosing the right nozzle for the job and so you know you got to play around with a little bit of that stuff and yeah figure out what works for the different surfaces and what's effectively the most effective for trying to get this done quickly. Now, ultimately, it's it is a pretty casual game. There's no like timer. You're not, you know, you're not being charged by the hour or whatever. Like, it is made to just sit back and have fun. Anyways, as we get this chimney cleaner and cleaner, you can see in the top left corner, the uh, the bar keeps counting down. So some objects can be pretty large. Some objects can be pretty small. Again, it varies quite a bit. But when you get relatively close to finishing it, it'll let you know you've completed it. And it'll automatically clean itself as well. So you don't have to be necessarily super super precise but sometimes you will have to you know try and get some lips and stuff from underneath and it can be a little bit tougher uh, so anyways the way, the way I like to kind of go about it is usually to try and do the widest pattern possible see how far we get with that you can see we're doing okay, but we've got some spots here where the really wide pressure washer doesn't work. 
And again, there are nozzle for the pressure. And that seems to do the trick. So some surfaces can be worse than others as well. Now we've done okay. Sometimes just re-blasting this can help a little bit. Uh, yeah. That's this game in a nutshell. <laughs> There's not a whole lot more to it. It's just one of those things that uh, a lot of people will probably find pretty fun and relaxing. You know, it's it itches a very specific thing. And there's a lot of games out there in these sort of genres, and you know, it's a wonderful thing, right? We, we can kind of make any game. A lot of games will find some sort of audience, and kind of a cool thing that you can pull this off. You know, this is the kind of thing where maybe 10, 20 years ago, it would have been a little bit harder to justify making something like this. These days, hey, anyone can make this. So, anyways, we'll, uh, how about we try and finish this? Try and show off some upgrades and stuff. So we'll do this little section here. You can see with, with the stronger pressure, it doesn't take that much more time, even though it is a smaller nozzle. Uh, but I, I do appreciate that there's a little bit of a concept of like, hey, yeah, you, know, you could trade off pressure for coverage if you want. Um, but I find at the end of the day, I find myself using the same nozzle quite a bit. I find myself sticking to this one in particular because it's kind of the widest one that does almost everything. And so you can go about it really quickly, and it's not a huge problem. So, you, you can see, oh, you know, a little spot there, a little spot there. I've been able to clear out most of the stuff. Uh, so yeah, if you hit the tab key now, I can see kind of any spots that I've potentially missed. And so when it comes to trying to complete a certain object and you're not able to finish it, uh, that's that's your tool to uh, help identify that. So anyways, let's bring up the tablet here uh, and go to the store. We've got a bunch of different equipment we can buy. Once you play enough, you can buy the next level of pressure washer. Presumably will allow you to uh, go in and just use a wider nozzle and you'll get the same cleaning power as like previous pressure washer. That's kind of cool. Uh, presumably, yeah, presumably I've not seen some of the higher level stuff yet. Maybe I have and it's just using the different, the tighter nozzles help. So we've got a bunch of different attachments and things we can get. Start by getting the tilt nozzle because I haven't done that yet. Turbo nozzles which spin in circles. You can get extensions as well. But the extensions are pretty fun if you want to try and you know stay in one spot more often and get a little bit more distance. May as well grab one of them. Actually, may as well get both. They're not that expensive. And then the roof here is a multi-purpose. Buy a multi-purpose. Cleaner. Should be it. So if I hit E, get the long extension up, get the cleaner. Use multi purpose. I've not tried this out yet, so there we go. Hmm. works yeah it works like getting a lot of this uh 
the majority of it in a pretty wide pattern. If we hit tab, you could see, yeah, it does an okay job. Not, not amazing. So let's go back by 40. I can definitely stick a little bit further back now. Or you can kind of cheese it a little bit too by just switching nozzles as you do it. Um, yeah, the, the game supports co-op as well, which I noticed. Uh, there seems to be somewhat co-op specific missions. Um, so that's always fun if you want to just mess around and have some friends and whatnot jump on. Uh, this is a Game Pass game, so if you have a Game Pass subscription, it was added fairly recently. And so you can give it a go that way. Otherwise, this is available on Steam. I believe this is available on consoles too, actually. Uh, but looking at Steam prices, it's about 34 Canadian, 33.49 for those of you in the US. This is a five dollar game i believe it launched somewhat recently too so it's not been through like major sales or anything i believe 15 percent off biggest sale it's had so. yeah like if this is something that interests you don't expect it to uh, come on sale anytime soon i guess or don't expect big discounts for a while. However, having said that, a lot of people attempt to have Game Pass. Very popular service for a reason. And this is this is the kind of game where I like playing these more casual games. But at the same time, these are the kind of games which I I wouldn't normally buy. I appreciate them, I like them. But you know, I would only consider buying them if I didn't have like a such a big backlog of games. Seeing as I do have a huge backlog of games, I'd rather put that time to. Yeah, I'd rather play through my backlog than picking up some of these more casual relaxing games, I suppose. Yeah. I don't know, pressure registers are pretty cool. If you've never used one, um, they could be pretty fun. They're pretty satisfying, which is kind of the whole point of this game. Definitely take a lot of, especially if you have a decent one, they definitely take a lot of uh, manual labor out of cleaning certain things. That's for sure. Uh, so I just want to try and get this roof done. So how, how bad is that? That's not too bad. Yeah, so... Ah. The edges here count. Okay. So sometimes the, like, the side of an object, or even underneath, depending on what it is, Sometimes these things count as the same, or sometimes they count as something else. So the underside here as well needs to be done. I'll learn here, we may as well do the wall. And so this is something where maybe from the ground it'd be a bit easier. You can definitely prone. Uh, yeah, I can get most of that stuff. And I probably have to get on the ground. So you see that lip underneath? That's something I was talking about earlier. Uh, occasionally, occasionally it can be a little bit tough or you don't necessarily think about it, you don't see it. And so you gotta really get in there. Try and deal with it.
towards the account, towards the roof we're trying to complete. Might as well do it while we're up here. Entirety of this counts. Yeah, performance is pretty good, as you can imagine. It's not a particularly demanding game. Um, built on Unity. There's a nice splash page informing you that it's built on Unity, which is fine. No issues there. The only thing that I'm kind of. I don't know. I wouldn't count it as a huge negative, because after all, this is still this is still the kind of game a lot of people love, um, and I've not really seen any particular complaints. But one of the things I would have liked to maybe see, which would have been cool, maybe in the future, is you know when you when you clean up some of these surfaces. Sometimes that dirt travels downwards, so a little, little extra mechanics like that would have been pretty cool to see. The, the concept of uh, yeah, actual dirt being moved around. Not sure how easy or feasible that would be. I would wager that it's not a very easy thing to implement. Having said that, it would be cool to see a potential future version. But it seems like this is doing fairly well. There's a lot of a lot of positive reviews for it. A lot of people really like these kinds of games in general. And so yeah. Beyond that, uh, more attachments would be kind of cool to see as well. I go back to the store here. Yeah, there's not really any. There's a couple tips, but like, if you've ever used or seen pressure washers and stuff at the store, usually different, uh, like, power brushes. You know, you can get some weird, like, underbody, dolly things for cars and stuff like that. There's definitely a lot of other. Uh, equipment out there available for pressure washers so that'd be kind of cool to see yeah let's do the mars rover this is a uh, one of those special jobs so i guess we'll do that like what a strange thing but you know what <laughs> why not Oh yes, just to the other. This one's going to be mildly annoying too, I guess. I bet, because there's going to be a lot of just like small details and a lot of... Oh, you gotta like... <laughs> you gotta move around and... Make your way around here, hit it from all sorts of angles, all sorts of like crevices and stuff. You gotta jump up here. Yes, the gravity is a little bit lower, but even on normal maps, gravity is pretty low. But again, at the end of the day, this is a casual game to have some fun. stuff in there we'll have to probably back and do a low pass. Ooh, this side's 
That was real bad. I right, we can even do the underbody. It's body here. Uh, so yeah, that's our washing simulator, I guess. Don't really have too much else to add beyond, you know. It's a thing. It exists. It's gonna have its own uh, kind of fan base. We're gonna be into this. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't have anything pretty good or bad to say about it. It's it is cool. It is different. Okay. As we look at the different components here. You know, it's probably pretty. This armor is dirty. There you go. Hey! Answer here. Yeah, not sure why the um, the video might look a little jittery to you. It might be something recording related. I'm not too sure. G generally, this has been fine for me. Not <laughs> not a demanding game after all. No. Yeah. Uh, if ever you're wondering what else you haven't cleaned, you can bring up your tablet as well. And you get a bit of a counter there to help you out with, like, hey, I've not cleaned. There's something I've not cleaned, and I can't see it, or I'm hitting tab, and it's not obvious. Now you can take a look at the tablet as you approach the kind of the end, if you will. The game will also give you a list of like, hey, you've got X amount of here's 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 like the five remaining items or whatever. We'll just show that on screen. It'll be quite a bit easier to follow then. And this underbody is pretty dirty. Yeah, we'll try and close it. I'll close it out once we're done the rover. Really have too much else to add beyond. Oh, well, this is kind of neat. I'm not too sure if they've added much to this game or they plan on adding much uh, since launch. You know, not really looked into it. I'm not. <laughs> not that I'm not interested, but. Hey, the Game Pass game. That's a good thing. I wouldn't normally be super interested. In I'd be interested, but I no normally wouldn't be buying that kind of thing. Because there's so much... So much other games. So many other games in my backlog. I don't know, I... I was going to say, it's like, maybe it's kind of an unfortunate thing where a lot of stuff like this just winds up coming out, you know, as like a free, free thing on a lot of these various services. Uh, at the same time, yeah, they tend to do, especially if it's a good one, tend to do pretty well. There's also, uh, that's what was the other one been on Game Pass recently. I'll probably take a quick look at that too. Alright. Alright, it's hitting tab. Oh, this wheel. 
eventually that wheel. Yep. Okay. Wheel hub. Probably this hub. Yeah. Mystery hatch. Hmm. And a body mounted set. Might be that set. Yes. That set. Yeah. Hatch. Mystery hat. By the percentage, I wonder if it's a something on the map. Might be it. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, that's kind of cool, I guess. Doing something a little bit different than usual. There we go, completed the job. Anyways, yeah, that's Power Washing Simulator. Once you finish your job, you get a nice little video here, kind of fast, giving you a time lapse of what you did. That's kind of cool. So, anyways, this was a really long video. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next week with something else.